connect to the internet. To access information and communicate online, you first need to connect to the internet. To do this, you need an appropriate device and access to a network. The most common devices that people use to go online include laptops, desktop computers, mobile phones, and tablets. However, it's common for devices like televisions, gaming consoles, printers, alarm systems, and even refrigerators to be connected to the internet. The internet is made up of a set of networks that are connected to one another all across the world. To go online, you need to physically connect to one of these networks. Different devices use different connection methods to get connected. If you're using a desktop computer, you will likely have a wired connection to a network for internet access. Laptop computers typically have ports for wired connections as well. With wired connections, you will use a cable to plug your device into a port or modem that connects to the internet. This is typically an ethernet cable. When using portable devices like mobile phones, laptops, and tablets, you will typically connect to the internet using Wi-Fi, which is a wireless connection. If you purchase a data plan through your cell phone carrier, you can also connect to the internet wirelessly using the carrier's cellular networks. This is called mobile broadband. These options allow you to access the internet while you're on the go without needing to use cables. You simply need to enable Wi-Fi on your device, select the name of the network that you have access to, and you will be connected to the network wirelessly. Many of the networks that make up the internet are made publicly available for anyone in the area to access. You can often join open networks in airports, malls, and other public places using Wi-Fi. Sometimes, you'll come across networks that are private. These networks require permission to join. In this case, the institution gives a password to those who are authorized to use the network. For example, a coffee shop might give customers a password so they can connect to the internet in the shop from their own devices. If you don't have access to existing public or private networks, there are ways to set up your own network by contracting service with an Internet Service Provider, or ISP. These networks are set up using modems that create a connection to the Internet and routers that allow multiple computers to connect to the network. The ISP usually provides you with these devices. No matter how you get connected, going online is quick and easy with the right device and access to a network.